Good job. It's good work, everybody. Uh, I'm proud of us all. I totally helped you so much. I'm just waiting for the front legs to snap off. That seems like the next thing that's going to happen. I think what happened was the the sails all, well, including the mast. fell forwards. Oh yeah, no, I, I definitely can't put it up to real time. I can I can barely see. I accidentally had it in real time when I started this simulation and I was sat there waiting until I had enough frames to to push it back down to 7. We're a long way from the windmill. We're travelling some serious mileage. The irony is, I tried to make a ship that could fly, and instead, I made a land ship. It's I'm not complaining. Oh, it's, it's a good job. We've done well. Good job. So I, one of two things is going to happen eventually. Uh, no, there's a couple of couple of possibilities. If we go off the map, um, parts of our ship will freeze and fall off, and then we'll collapse. Um, or the front legs are going to break under the weight of most of the ship, and the f the front of the ship is going to crash into the ground, and it'll all fall apart. And that'll be pretty pretty spectacular. Or uh, it's going to go end over apex and we're going to have the back end over the top because the front is dragging too much. I think we're most likely going to reach the edge of the map before then. Um, which isn't going to be that fun because it's just going to kind of collapse. It's not going to be as exciting as the fiery explosions we had before. So I'll run it for a little while longer and then I'll put those braces in. We're just gently uh, prancing along the open fields right now. Alright, I'm calling it in there, we're going to end it, and we're going to put the braces in to stick the hull to the deck, and we're going to see how it goes then. Hopefully, it won't just drag its nipples along the floor. Okay. Let's go.
I don't need to put those braces in at the front because of the way I built the front. The uh, it, you can't see it under the deck, but um, underneath there, uh, the wood comes up in a zigzag pattern. So I'm not going to need to put those in at the front or back. I mean, it is attached somehow. It's just it was only attached at the front and back, really, which was a mistake. Um, it, it did generate that cool rippling effect. I mean, if you're not going to be in the water, you may as well look like it. So, that sail is looking really lopsided. I don't know if it's just the wings, or if it's genuinely tilting. I feel like it is, but I can't say. And I don't know why. Hmm. Alright. Um, I'm tempted to brace up the legs only to each other at the front and back just to stop it from sliding around quite as much. Or I might run wood along the bottom. No, I'll brace them up. I probably am being paranoid at this point. I just want this thing to go. Spend enough time on it. Okay. 1,451 pieces. We're gonna start the simulation at 6% speed. Let it sit, make sure it doesn't collapse, which it shouldn't. It's reasonably secure now. It's got too many braces to collapse now. Um, assuming it doesn't collapse, we will we'll see if we can make it go up. Um, I don't think it will. We've only added weight to it. Uh, where's the center of mass ended up? Oh, much the same. Slightly further down, those braces are do do carry weight. So we're going to need to find some more power from somewhere in a bit. I'll do that the way I'll the way I kind of had as a backup, which was to add another another level onto the onto the mast. And then we'll uh, we'll set it off. Okay, let's have a go with this one. See how it see, actually we'll save first and then we'll go. Okay, here we go. I believe. Alright, looks good. I'll speed it up a bit because it's nice and settled and just make sure it's not going to fall over of its own accord. When I said it was nice and settled, what I didn't imagine was that the wings were just going to sit there and flap. Okay. Let's start the engines. Here we go. 1,451 pieces. Here we go.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's never good. It's in this case we're watching. Um. Well, I feel sorry for whoever owns that windmill. Oh god. I haven't quite caught up yet. Oh no, no, don't worry. I haven't touched the windmill yet. Oh my goodness. I thought we were much stronger than the windmill. Go, be free! We've lost one. We're about to lose another one. There it goes, it's taking in a couple with it. Oh my goodness. We're still going, there's trees in the way, but the hull's gonna have to deal with that one. Are you trying to go that way? Uh, do you think I've got control over the direction I'm going? I press one button to make all the sails go on. Fair enough. I haven't got any any motional control yet. The only direction I'm trying to go is up. This might be our biggest jump yet. I mean, some trees helped, and is it looks like it's going to end really badly. But. Hey, it's a good jump. Some good air. We're hanging ten. Oh, this is going to be bad. Here he goes. Oh, oh no. Okay, that's that's quite critical. For a moment, as it flew over the windmill, it was incredibly graceful and majestic. Oh, it's about to crash. Yeah. Uh... Oh... It is a tough bugger, because we built it tough. That's why. You don't put 1,451 pieces into a ship just to expect them all to fall out on you. We've got some speed on us. We're already miles away from the windmill. Yeah, jeez. The problem is now, because we've taken damage to the wing that's closest to our destination, wherever that may be, um, that's taken the most damage and has lost the most power. And even though it's just one or two, that disparity is enough to keep us at this breakish angle for as long as it wants. It just doesn't have the... we haven't got any balance. We can't go up, um, because we... we sit, are we... Are we turning? I think we're making a turn. This is... Interesting. The back end where we lost a leg is now... Oh, look at that in the distance! Those ones that got away earlier. They came back, but very far away blurry as well. Oh, that's incredible. Uh, as I said before, in this in this game, you don't fall off the map. What happens is when you reach the map's limits, um, 
there's this special freezing effect that is applied to them and they just break and they're kind of repelled back towards the middle. Here we go, we've just got to it. Oh my god! Oh, what? Uh, I haven't, I haven't, no, I haven't reached it. And it probably needs to refresh the room. It just literally destroyed itself in a horrendous fucking hell. Oh, <laughs> God. We hit the wall. And it, it, it's not pretty. It's like the Titanic Mark II. No, it's not like the Titanic. It's there's no ship that's ended up in a state this bad. It's had an iceberg, it's just an invisible wall, you know. No, HMS Hood ended up in a terrible state. What happened to that? Um it, it got hit by a high explosive shell in its magazine compartment. Oh. So imagine sound every nice. shell inside a warship detonating. Um I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's probably not as bad yeah. as a speeding ship hitting an invisible wall. No, no, I think it's, I think it, it's about the same. For what I'm looking at right now on this screen, it looks that's what would happen. Okay. If the HMS hood was made of wood. Ah, uh, yeah, Hindenburg. It's Hindenburg. That's yes. a good one. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty much what we've ended up with. Is the Hindenburg. No yeah, survivors exactly. rip the ship 2015. <laughs> the ship. It's absolute carnage. I'm gonna restart the stream. Just because I think I'm delaying a bit. Yeah, that'll happen over time. Yeah, well, I was downloading stuff, so it was, um, lagging me out. One more layer it is. One is one more layer gonna do it? I reckon. Right, here's my bet. One more layer is going to take us up in the air. We're gonna have. Uh, we'll we'll start with one. I reckon one more layer is gonna take us up in the air. We're gonna have a big jump, not that little jump we had before. We're gonna really launch. And before we hit the ground, we're not going to be on our legs. We're gonna hit. We're gonna land sail first. I don't know. We're gonna flip round. No, 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 no. We're gonna hit hit with the corner of a sail. That's that's what's gonna land first. Loop de loop. That'd be amazing. Oh god. Um, there, there. The one level that you see the most of out of this game usually is the uh, um, the one with all the people in it because the blood in this game is is pretty gory. Um, secondary masts. I thought about that when I was first building it, and it was the point at which I had to rig the mast down across the entire deck that I decided probably wasn't going to be viable. Um, the only the only way I could do it would be to have four masts, one in each corner, um, or like or have masts right at the ends of the ship, um, which would work. Yeah, I know what you mean? Um, could you not just What's put the propellers like around the edge of the ship just to give it extra lift? Just like wherever there's a spare space. How much? How much do you think I'm willing to sacrifice for artistic beauty? F fair enough. Okay. This is yeah, this is a work of art as much as it is functional. As in, it's not functional and it's not a work of art. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, best of edge never. You what? Well, you know, you know the. The mission with loads of people. 
But my yeah. way around it was building a flying machine and just attaching right. bombs to the bottom. So they'd all run at me and I'd just go up in the air and they just drop bombs. Yeah, I did that one with flamethrowers the first time. Fair enough. Wait, there's flamethrowers? Yeah, there are flamethrowers in this. Can you flamethrower your own ship? Of course yeah. you can. Yeah, it's really Oh my annoying. lord. Of course you can. Burn it to the ground. We, well, we did burn it. In, yeah, in a horrific explosion. In the, and in you the missed mine, it. Mine incident of, of 2015. The great mine palaver of, of an hour or two ago. Back when we were using the sandbox. Jesus, two in the morning. Implying I have to go to bed. Oh. I probably should. I'll, I'll stick what with this got? for the time being. Have you got lectures in the morning? Yeah. It's okay. It's not this weekend that you're coming up here, is it? It's this nah, it's Valentine's Day weekend I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, Anne's going to be up. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I know. You may not see me. Nah, I will see you. Just not a lot. Um, Lol. what are you going to bring in? Oh, myself. You're bring in? Are you shitting me? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, some cash money. Yep. Money is good. Cash money. Something to sleep in, as in a utensil for covering myself with. A good idea. Clothes. Yep, they they are often required for going out in in public. Not always. Depends where you go. Not often. Is that it? Um. Yeah, that was pretty much it. <laughs> what whatever I have left over from lunch as well. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Which good. I will buy at Sheffield Stash probably. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, either Leicester or Sheffield. Right. And what time are you coming? Uh, what time was my train? That's why I asked, because I don't know. I oh, will figure out later, it's fine. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Um. That looks good. Yeah, centre of mass is now above the bottom beam. <laughs> so, <laughs> top all likelihood, high. Lift, Could you high. you raise, like, the, the edge of the ship's hull up one to lower the mass if you know what I mean put another layer of fence in yeah just to lower it slightly I could but I don't know if it would be worth it I, I can't no 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 Ooh. I can't I can't put four on the center pillar because that is the crow's nest that is where the little oh, man yeah. who looks out and sees things <laughs> won't be able to see on either side because he's already got wings in the way yeah, poor man. I'm not gonna have he his, head, his chopped head chopped off. off. Yeah. yeah, he's already he's already got to climb this dangerous <laughs> rigging to get up to the crow's nest in the first place. I mean, come on, come on, be sensible. All right, that's fair enough. Yeah, um, poor dude. We we're, we're gonna give this a run. I'm gonna save it first. Um, one thousand five hundred and fifty-one. This this I I don't know. I got a feeling. That this you got a feeling about this one. This isn't going to go well. Oh, you've got a feeling it isn't going to go well. <laughs> um, have, have any of them gone well? Well, there was that one one where we kind of got off the ground. Well, we've been off the ground on this one. When we jumped over the windmill, that was our biggest jump so far. Yeah, that, that was... Yeah, I guess. Sure, if stream lagging or oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't don't try and climb on these sails. These sails are incredibly dangerous. You could get you could get all sorts of paper cuts from these fabric wings. All sorts of paper cuts. These Da Vinci spirals that we've got going on. Ah, well noted. I haven't put braces on the top one. 
I'm going to do that because I fear for the safety of my ship. It didn't fall apart, so there's that. Oh, it's definitely sagging on the sides. Don't don't you worry. It, as soon as we start the wings, it's supposed to be like a like a uh, sail. Well, it's not supposed to be, but that's how it it's works. Not, it's that not. just that's just what happens. Oh, and when we turn okay. when we when we turn the blades on, we fill them with wind, and they lift up, and they lift the boat <laughs> with it, and we fly off into the sunset. Sagging is such a horrible word. I prefer gracefully flop. Flopping doesn't sound much better either. Um. Lounging. Uh, no, that's that implies they're lazy. They're not lazy. You know, they're they're. Uh. F flopping. Okay, I'll, I'll go with flopping. It's better than sagging. It's not really motion, but, but no, it's blurriness it, as it turns. It's it's the depth of field is the uh, yeah, that's that's good. Privy, yeah, okay, uh, that's that's it's better. As all things of any weight are, any gravitas will be susceptible to the gravity, and because this is such a monumental feat of engineering, gravity pl plays an important role in its appearance. Fair enough. Wait, wait, speak. Hmm? Oh, that's better. Okay. I'm, I'm sort of cooking, making food. So. <laughs> um, the reason the mast is odd, and possibly a reason for the asymmetricality of of the whole of the whole thing, yeah, you may have found it. Is the way that I built the mast was I just kind of I worked in a circle at the top, yeah, at the crow's nest, and that might be the reason for the whole asymmetricality. I I don't. Uh, there's always the possibility that I've messed something up, even under the deck, because the mast goes. I built the deck first before I put the mast in and then I had to go inside the deck in order to attach it and I'll, I'll show you what it's like, it's an absolute nightmare trying to place things in there the game does not allow you to do it really, to build things inside things you don't mean under the deck, you mean the poop deck I mean, come on do I? yeah, of course it's called the poop deck wait, no, is it? yeah, it, it this, is this is inside the ship right now yeah, I had to put I had to put the masts that you can see here in after I built all of the deck along the top. Um, what? Oh, oh lord. <laughs> um, and that that was a huge challenge, like trying to be able to see and aim. And I think I got these right. It looks like it, but you know, one mistake and the whole thing is asymmetrical. If it's not that and it's not something like, if it's not a brace that's out of place, if it's not um, anything that's just one one, just squa one square out of place, um, then yeah, it, then it's the crow's nest that's causing every single problem that we're having. Is it? Or, is it, it could be. Is it asymmetrical on the side that it's leaning? Like the forward it's asymmetrical down. equally, as in what it should be doing is twisting rather than causing a flop on either side, forwards, backwards, left or right, it should be causing the entire ship to turn about the mast. So Alright, we need to we need to test this version out, don't we? We do. We've got one thousand five hundred and eighty eight pieces. Oh, God. Um I you 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 smell disaster for this one, do you? Yeah, I'm I'm calling it. You're calling disaster on this one. Mm hmm Oh, I missed a couple of braces, hang on.
is um Okay. Got side braces on. Uh I haven't got anywhere to attach them up the top because I'm not building the crow's nest any higher. It's fine. It's fine. Ah! What, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. Nothing could be worse than last time or the mine incident. So. The mine incident was was really something. Okay, 1,590 pieces. I think I'm going to save again. It's, an incre it's it's getting harder and harder to save it with every piece I add. <laughs> Brace ourselves. There's a lot of braces, don't worry. Bracing is one thing we can do. I can't tell if it's done saving yet or not. Oh, there we go. Right. And now, we're ready to give it a go. Let's start the simulation, and we're not going to fly it straight away, we're going to let it sit, make sure it doesn't collapse in on itself. There's no <coughs> reason why it should. It hasn't done for a while. It, it, the last time it did was... was, uh... some time ago. Oh, look at that sag! I mean, that... Mm -hmm. that, um... that gravity effect that's mm -hmm. happening to our sails. Yep. Not sagging. It's, it's definitely not sag, and it's definitely intentional. It's part of the decor. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, that is some definitely not sag. Definitely not sag. It's bouncing. Oh, that's glorious. It is. And remember, this is at 7% speed. At 100% speed, it will be going oh, many, God. many times faster than this. It'll be going about 16 times faster. <laughs> no, uh, just... Okay, go. Take off. Fly. Okay. I think we're ready. Everyone, 1,590 piece ship, ready to fly. Preparing for liftoff. We have our first jump. Oh. It's a big jump. Oh wow, that is way higher than it was last time. We're still going up. It looks like we're slowing down. We may have reached the apex of the jump. <laughs> no, we're still going. I love how you're not, not calling it flying yet. Not yet. No. We're still going. This is just a majestic jump. <laughs> now we've, we're starting to lean forwards. That's fine, it's meant to be going somewhere. It is, like. yeah, I mean, we're going on a journey. <laughs> it keeps jumping! If I didn't if I didn't know better, I'd say it was almost... Flying! F flying? I, don't say the F word, though. I mean, come on. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. This is the biggest jump we've ever had on this ship. Yeah, the difference between Da Vinci and us, though, is that Da Vinci didn't do everything by trial and error and, oh, that might look good. It will probably work. Um... We're getting some weird leaning going on. We're leaning backwards. Surely this isn't the pendulum effect in effect. Oh god. If it is, bouncing. we're not jiggling very much, which is a surprise. Beautiful, I like that. We are on 7% speed. Well, this would have happened. Everything that's happened now would have happened about 16 or 17 times faster than it did. I think we're still climbing. We're swinging back towards uh, the middle. Oh god. It's leading way more this way than it was last time. Than it was the other way, even. It right. swung. Oh wait, it's swinging. It swung back again. It is, it's like... It's... 
<laughs> it's a pendulum, it's just a flying pendulum. My concern is, if it's, if the centre of mass is too high, which I, I have reason to believe it is, it will gradually get more and more oh, unstable. God, yes. Yeah, and then it will just swing, like, too far up, and then go, like, loop hole, oh, gotta keep going. Oh. Oh, no. Um, the next swing... <laughs> swing eagle. The next Way swing isn't a pretty far. one. It doesn't look like we have stability. We've got flight. We, we, have fl we have enough power to get us off the ground. But the ship design is so oh, poor God. that we can't stay in the air because oh, we're no. just going to fall out of the sky. Oh, this is this is. Oh, it it's heading towards the ground. We've lost altitude purely because of our swinging, and we whenever the further we swing, the less lift we can I get out it. of our sails. It's I not a this. it's not a disaster yet. This could be a safe landing. It probably oh, won't yeah. be, but it could be a safe. Okay, this last oh. swing is going to be the one that gets us into the ground. It depends how far we lean over. <laughs> oh, God, oh, this, this is, is going so too bad. far. This is going too far. It's about to make contact with the ground, and it really shouldn't be. Is it too much? Oh. Oh, the legs have broken. Oh, don't spoiler it for me. I, I've got stream lag. This is. Yeah, it looks like it's about to snap in two from my wheel. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, it's about the, to flip. The, the legs it's gonna have, flip. The legs have landed. Oh no, this is. <laughs> this oh, is God. this is one of the most impressive crashes we've ever had. Here it goes. <laughs> Oh, it's literally going to turn itself over in a minute. Oh, <laughs> Louis, what, what have we done? Oh, that brace that flew off then. You know who I feel most sorry for? The windmill. <laughs> the windmill. That poor, poor oh, windmill doesn't know what avalanche <laughs> of debris just well, swept it away. The, can you please. can you see where this is going? That windmill is not going to survive. Yeah, I and believe me, off. it hasn't. Oh no! Oh, no it's like a film that is. It's like watching one um one of those cheap 3D films because objects keep coming past the screen really blurry and really close to the camera. Like 3D is hilarious. You know when you're wearing the 3D glasses and you're supposed to be shocked by what's happening. Because there's like objects flying close to your face. Henry, I am shocked. I'm... Come in and ask what's happened to your ship. It basically it acted as a pendulum in the air, just getting more and more unstable, and then it just kind of went like like that, and then went forward. I was flying. It was more bouncing, um, jumping maybe. Yeah, there, there is, is too much stuff for Louis' computer to handle. Uh, I'm, I'm actually running it in a really safe mode because I'm running it so slowly in, in the game. I'm not lagging my computer out. Um, it's, it's the advantage of having the slow motion was that if I were to try and run this in normal speed, it would, it would be like watching this much, much faster, and it would, and you'd miss so many frames. At least like this, I can enjoy the show. Is there literally any way to fire a cannon without destroying your entire setup? This this was not the result of a cannon. No, 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 but I'm using a cannon. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, in fact, uh, I was investigating it earlier, ways that you can dampen a cannon. Um, depending on where you've got it, you can actually detach it straight away, so that you can have it fling itself off you, off you, after yeah, you fire yeah. it. But I, I, like, I want to have, like... So, like, say it was a reusable piece of siege equipment, you can just, yeah, you can couple it, you can put it on an extended arm so it'll snap at a certain point. Oh, you yeah, can just, you can use the detacher. Hit yeah, James. Yeah, you fire and hit J. Yeah. James. You, know, you can actually bind them to the same key. You know, Henri wants us um, cool. up here at, um, I can hear you watching QI, but um, Henri it wants worked. us up it here break. at um, 9.30. Yeah, I heard. But fuck him. Yeah. Well, he's getting me up, so you better get up. Well, he should come get me up then. Oh, and enough. get me up. No, get, get. <laughs> oh god. Get, get, get Harry to get you up. 
yeah, and there we go. To get me up. The, across this desolate wasteland well you done, is now the contents of that farm and 1,590 intricate little pieces of what used to be a skyship. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have called it <laughs> a skyship. Oh, it me did it not it a, get a into bouncy, the sky? A bouncy no, 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 it didn't bounce. All right? I, I may have said jump because I thought it was just jumping. It okay. does have enough power to get itself the, off the, the ground now. The pendulum ship, let's call it that. The, the, if you had a grandfather clock that worked like this did, your grandfather clock would, the, the pendulum inside your grandfather clock would break out the side and <coughs> swing the clock face the off. Exponentially it crazy would, pendulum. Yeah, it would just rip the whole thing apart. Hey, that's a good pendulum in my book. It would rip your entire grandfather clock apart into yeah. into tiny little pieces. It w your grandfather clock would look like this at the end of it, and you know the only time you'll be able to tell is that it's time to get a new grandfather clock. But we we've we've achieved flight. It wasn't a good flight. It wasn't a successful flight. We've never been able to land it yet. But we've got a strong setup now. And all we need to do is just tweak it slightly and we could have a huge, a huge craft. If I can make this thing stable, then I've got a slow motion enormous craft to fly around. And that'll be it, that's the dream achieved. We're, we're so close, but I am busy tomorrow, so I'm going to leave it there for today, and I'll come back to this very soon, I'm really eager to carry on with this, but it's not going to be at least until tomorrow evening. Um, so for the time being, this is going to be it. I'm going to do like one last, one last couple of glory shots around the the ship that almost made it, and then, uh, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to close down the stream and go to bed. Let's get some close-ups. Gaze at its beauty. Gaze. Huh. Ah, oh, look at this. This right here that I've got right now, that will be a perfect desktop wallpaper. Just made a way. medieval grey lane launcher. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Mhm. Mm I think I, I wish you could make pistons faster, as it were. If you get me. Yeah, I know what you mean. He gets me. He gets. Me. I get you. So yeah, I'm gonna come back Why to this. I'm going to come back I to this sometime soon, and then, yeah, we'll finish this off. Um, Yay. Until then, I'm afraid that's the end of the stream. To all of you watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.